Yo, what's going on guys? Invictive Minutes back here again with another Dole Combat video. You can call me Invictive. Today we're going to be checking out this unit here over on the left. Not just him, but also the other Extreme Z Awakening that's gone ahead and happened. Uh, Tech Beerus is going to be amazing after he's fully Extreme Z Awakened. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the level 30 of his uh, Extreme Z Awakening. But also, let's go ahead and check out the other unit which have already Extreme Z Awakened. We're going to first check out the Extreme, uh, the Incel EZA, the best teams to use for the Incel. And then we'll go ahead and do the final stage of the Tech Bros EZA. Go ahead and awaken the guy and show you guys how good he is at 100%. So, um, there's two units that got the EZA. So we got the Incel and uh, tech bearers so incel is one that went under the radar because you don't actually get potential orbs or any of that from doing his easier from start to finish instead what you have to do is you have to go back and do the tech cell easier and you have to do each part of the stages where you can get the awakening medals to actually fully go ahead and awaken this unit now this unit fully awakened is not too good but he's not too bad either he's a very situational unit he's quite a powerful unit a very good unit as well I don't have any problems with him, but personally, I would rather use um, Strength Cell or the Tech EZA Cell. The Tech EZA Cell is really good, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in comparison. So let's just uh, select how we put it on Android. So we just compare these two. There's three cells here, and I'm expecting Strength Cell is going to be the next EZA. Strength Cell is a beast. Tech Cell is really good right now the most powerful one is Texel. so i've got my Texel fully rainbowed amazing unit one of the best EZAs in the game strength cell i am anticipating this guy to get EZA soon because he's a hundred percent uh hp attack and defense he's one of the og god leaders um he's a really old school unit but he's a really powerful old school unit because he has immense damage and uh, raises attack and defense infinitely raises attack and defense so he's a really good unit meanwhile in cell he's probably the weakest of the bunch but he is one of the easier units um to easy a well he's not really an easier unit to easy a, but he's a he's a good unit he's a good unit um he went from 40 percent attack and defense at the start of turn to 90 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and he recovers 20 percent hp when his hp is 30 percent or below now really and truly you're only going to get the hp below 30 percent at a very rare chance and the most most of the time that's going to happen in super battle road i've got i've gone ahead and i've woken all of his hidden paths but i'm not going to fill out any of his potential because right now i'm a bit strict on my int orbs i have none i have none so that's int cell for you. Uh, unfortunately, he still stays with supreme damage. That's a big problem. But he's got really good links. He's got fierce battle, which is 15% on attack. Ultimate life form, that's key two. Attack of the clones, key plus one. Kamehameha, attack plus 2,500 when a super attack is launched. Big bad bosses is a really amazing link. It attack and defense plus 25% when HP is 80% or below, which is really good. Uh, messenger from the future attack plus 500 and revival which is key plus two so he's got good links and he's on a whole bunch of categories he's on resurrected warriors which is really amazing full power really good androids of course uh, transformation boost which is a very underused team but a very powerful team and time travelers which is a uh, really good He's not on Future Saga, but he is on Time Travelers. He uh, perf Perfect Cell was never in um, Future Trunks' timeline. It was only a first form cell. So yeah, we got him on Time Travelers. So um, yeah, that's that's uh, Int Cell for you, a decent unit. I've gone ahead and done his easier. If you if you've done the easier for this guy here, you already know how it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the team that I used for his easier. So. I'm not actually going to do the event, I'm just going to show you guys the team that I use. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in and do the Tech Beerus Easy A. So, here's a perfect cell Easy A. So basically what you have to do here is you select the level and you collect the middles that you need depending on what level you need to do it. So, we'll actually we'll go ahead and do level 32. I'm going to go ahead and do it with the team that I did it with. And you guys can keep doing the levels to get more... Um, get more get more Hercule medals so effective when attacking his future saga but the thing is unfortunately as you can see 
since you're going to be fighting Texel, the event is actually both events are weak to int types. So you can actually use the same team on both events because the same team actually works on both events. So we're going to go ahead and show you. So he's weak to future saga, right? And he's weak to int types. So you want to make a team around int future saga. Don't use any AGO units because they're going to get absolutely battered here. So future saga is up there. So here, this is the big problem. Uh, you, d you don't really have. Okay, there's one Gohan there. There's one Gohan there, and this is a rainbow one. That that is probably the rarest thing I've ever seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. And usually, the I use a full int team, right? I use a full int team. Uh, this Gohan, I can't find anyone with it. The fact that I found someone that's got him rainbow star is absolutely amazing. But I usually just use a Patara team with two. A lot of geos at the lead. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is jump in on the event with um, just a Patara for Geo as the lead. Now I pretty much use the exact same team here on the other event as well. The thing is with the other event, you can use a few other characters because the other event is actually weak against Realm of Gods. So you can use the UI Goku, Ultra Instinct Goku. So right, Ultra Instinct Goku is best for that event. For this event, you want to go ahead and use this team. So uh, this is the team. If it can be any any level above level 30, then you're good to use the team on any level. This Vegeta is actually good on both events. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're going to attack first like... Oh well, yeah, we're going to attack like this. Do this. Yes. So um, I'm expecting the next EZAs. Um, we already know. Uh, I'm, I already know what's coming because of what JP is doing with their EZAs. But I'm expecting what new units will be next for the EZAs. So most likely this in the GR and this Rage Trunks. This Rage Trunks needs an EZA. He's really bad. He's really bad. The guy is 700,000. That's with at least 10 orbs. So he, he, he is really bad. Really bad. And he's immense. So this Vegeta is absolutely amazing. This, this Vegeta is really amazing. So go ahead and do that. Turn those. And grab a couple of these. There you go. A lot of Gito is just such a powerful and tanky unit. So, if you don't have him, start saving your stones now. Year 4 anniversary is literally around the corner for us global players. If you're a global player, you best not be spending any stones or any of these banners. I'm telling you, He's, this LR is on the S Super Saiyan 4 banner. So, if you don't have LR Gogito or LR Gito, they're on the banner. So, save your stones. There's literally no units available right now that you really want to grab. Uh, there's a uh, Ink Goku Black which is coming up, but I, I honestly don't think it's worth it. Now, what I've noticed is the most. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the World Tournament Gohan. He gets attack plus uh, 50% and key plus 2 if there's an Android, which a uh, cell is. And then uh, I'm using this Zamasu, which basically what he does is he's really defensive. So he's really a defensive character. So yeah. And yeah, that's, uh, that's the tech cell event there. And the tech cell, so remember, you do the event and then you collect the medals. Alright. Alright, uh, you might die here, I don't mind. I don't think this go on kind of like that. Oh, actually, you can. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, tech cell does do a lot of damage, but um, yeah, that's the event done. So you can keep doing the event. The event's pretty easy. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the other EZAs. What we're here for is the Tech Burst EZA. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, awaken him. So that's the Tech Cell one. So that's where you get all your medals and orbs there. And now let's go into the Burst one. So there's a couple missions here as well. So you can collect some uh, Dragon Stones if you use the Realm of Gods team. And then yeah, 
this one is really easy. This one's really easy. This is this is what I'm using here. I'm using UI Goku. Same. I'm using this Vegeta again. He's really good. I'm using this Goku Black. He's decent. He needs an easy A. This guy needs an easy A soon. He will be getting one soon from what I anticipate. He's a decent unit. He's a good unit. I'm using this um, Wirus. Actually a really good unit because um, some this guy really comes in handy when um, certain characters are having problems with key links because he will change tech and, int, uh, tech and int key into physical. So he's a really good unit for that. Uh, Zamasu is really powerful on this event. He's really good on this event. This this unit, very underrated unit, but a very powerful unit, and he recovers seven percent HP uh, from the damage he does. And then I'm using this good old Vegito, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, just for the counters and the additional damage. Um, if this guy gets an easy A, if this guy gets an easy A, he'll be one of the be he'll be the best. He'll be the best easy A in the game, I think. Uh, right now, I think this Tech right, is probably the best easy in the game. Hands down. Hands down. No problem. He was the worst game, but now uh, he was the worst character to to get back in the day, but now I think he's like literally the best. So, go ahead and do this. Let's go for that. Grab all these yellow key spheres for my man. And then, there we go. He's gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, UI Goku just makes this event a joke because uh, even if your HP does go under 50%, he's gonna just transform and do way more damage and dodge everything. So this event is easy. This event is really easy. Realm of Gods is a really powerful team, so this event makes it like a joke. Yeah, these two units they don't do too much damage, so yeah, I'm hoping that Goku Black gets the, the easier announcement on the JP soon. He's different unit on both uh, on JP and Global. On JP he's weaker, on Global he's more powerful. So yeah, there you go, he's already got us under 50% and he's transforming. There's UI Goku right there. There yeah. Love that transformation. And then, um, yeah, I think we're gonna go like this. That there. Yeah, look at that. UI Goku just makes it like a joke. And really and truly, if UI Goku went against Beerus, who do you think would be the I think UI Goku would be Beerus. Unless Beerus is uh, hiding an ace up his sleeve, which I don't think he is, but he might be. He might be. He might be. He's not a joke, man. You got the destruction. You like in the universe of survival saga, you know Beerus was one of the top dogs there. A lot of the other God of Destruction are looking over at Beerus like, yeah, this guy's, this guy's a bit more serious. Alright, there we go. So yeah, that's Masu really, um, he brings back the health. Now, this Vegeta is really powerful on this event as well, I promise you that. This guy is really powerful on this event. Really, really powerful. So we got those like that. Yeah, we should those. Yeah, this Vegeta is really powerful on both events. If you don't have this guy rainbow, go ahead and do it. I'm giving you the thumbs up. This guy's worth it. Do it. He does a million damage consistently. Consistently. Very consistent unit. The most consistent I've I found. Like, really good. I've got mine at rainbow level. So it's really good. And yeah, that's uh, the event gone ahead and done. That's it done. So let's go ahead and extreme the awaken our guy. And check him out. So this event does give you potential orbs and everything. I already had my unit fully rainbowed, but you'll get enough orbs to rainbow and perhaps SA SA ten the unit. So but only use only use the actual um so let's uh, switch that up to Realm of Gods. Okay, so there we go. There's a Beerus. This is very expensive. You're gonna need 32 million Zenny in total to fully easy a this guy. 14 million I have there. But 32 million Zenny is how much you're gonna need. It's quite a lot of Zenny. But All trust right. me, the easier is worth start. it. So yeah, that's him done. You're really 
So we want full E. Now we're gonna go ahead and train him up. So yeah, um, before you EZA him, if you got him in his UR state, you can use these Beerus and you can make them SSRs and they power up his uh, super attack by 50% chance. They have a 50% chance where you can TUR him. That's the TUR version of the SSR, uh, the SR. So you can use those and any other Beeruses to go ahead and raise his super attack. So SA10 him through these Beeruses, yeah? And then after you're SA done SA10 him, then uh, once he's SA10 and you've easy aid him, you wanna go ahead and use these guys. So I'm gonna use two, two of the tech ones to get him to SA15. We're gonna use the, might, might as well use Beerus's planet. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Time for some training. And let's check out this unit. Wow, look at his stats. His stats are ridiculous. I thought the I thought the Gogeta easier, the strength Gogeta easier was really powerful, but this guy is just as good. This guy is just as good. So his super attack gets changed into the extreme Z attack. So yeah, that's him there. That's that's him fully done. So he causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense for his super attack. His leader skill is tech type three, uh, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus ninety percent. So if you don't have a tech type leader, this guy is your tech type leader. If you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 go, if you don't have any tech type leader, you can go ahead and use this guy as your tech type leader. So he's got a really good tech type leader skill, which is great for uh, Dokkan Battlefield. We call it Ultimate Clash over here on Global, but he's really good for that. So, what's amazing here is he gets attack and defense plus 80% at the start of turn on top of his ridiculous stats. So he's getting 80% attack and defense on top of the ridiculous stats he has. This guy has got attack almost comparable to some LRs in the game. He, that's really good attack, really good HP. Defense is really solid as well. So he gets attack and defense plus 80% on top of that, which is amazing. And then on top of that, he's got a few more extra things here. So he gets attack and defense plus 8% at the start of the turn plus additional attack plus 40% for 4 turns after receiving an attack so he goes, his attack goes up to 120% and then once your HP is 40% or below he activates his rage so rage is the same as how Vegeta does it so basically rage what he does is basically once your attack goes under 40% he transforms he doesn't take any damage from any attacks but every attack that he does has a different variable of doing different super attacks. So really, really powerhouse unit. Mine has uh, six additional 17 crit three dodge. His links are godly power, which gives him 15% attack. Prodigies, which gives him, sorry, that gives him another 10% attack. Connoisseur, which recovers his HP by 5%. Innocent, another 10% attack. Shocking speed, that's key plus two. And fierce battle attack plus 15%. The only downside he has is his only key link is shocking speed. Other than that, a really powerhouse unit. Anyways, guys, that's invective. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this really long video, closing up to about 20 minutes. If you guys enjoyed what I was doing, you're liking the content, and you're enjoying um, overall my videos and what I'm presenting to you on YouTube, go ahead and leave me a like. You know, it always is very friendly, it's very nice when uh, my subscribers or anyone that subscribes go ahead and leave me a like so go ahead and smack that like button make sure you do that if you guys enjoy the content and you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel go ahead and check out some more of my Dokkan Battle content there's a link to a playlist in the description down below go ahead and check it out I've done plenty of summons as well on global so really pulled some amazing units and everything some really hype summons on the channel as well so go ahead and check those out as well guys the, the, everything's uh, linked in the description down below or just go ahead and check out my channel go ahead and click subscribe playlists are there and everything check out any of my old videos plenty of dokkan content there and i'll catch you guys on the next dokkan battle video this is your boy invective peace out